Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the rest, and forever. Amen. How see gospel, music, and the word of God. Equity for all. It's easy to judge others. We want to welcome you to our broadcast for today. Last night we did this broadcast and uh, we realized that some of the things that we had got ready to do we were not prepared to do as well as we should have so we are going to do it again today and we hope it will be a blessing to you. We are Housey, Housey Production Gospel. We are located at 231 6th Avenue here in Beatrice, Alabama. If you want to call while we are doing this broadcast, the telephone number is uh, area code 347-202-0317 if you'd like to be talk to us personally here on this broadcast. We are uncomfortable with the ideas of inequality, yet we see it all around us, even in nature. Do we need to get more specific with our concerns about injustice? Michael Lord Page, Dean of Multicultural Affairs at Coolidge Calvin College, suggests to host Karen Sharp, a closer look at the term equity. We are going to be looking at equity from God's perspective. It's very easy to judge others, condemn them for doing the same thing we have done. How can we avoid being judgmental? Paul taught that God's kindness, forbearance, and patience leads to repentance and a new life. Our subject today, we're going to be talking about on how see today, talking about equity for all. We'll be talking about Psalms 32. We'll read it in entirely. Romans 2, verses 1 through 16. Romans 2, verses 1 through 12. If you would like to call in and talk about equity and the perspective of God and equity, what equity means, that number is 347-202-0317. You might want to know who is House C. Production Gospel. I am Freddie C. Howard, the host of House C. Production Gospel. Blog Talk Radio, as we say, coming from 231 Sixth Avenue down south here in the big city of Beatrice, Alabama. You can reach us by cell, area code 251-362-1935. Uh, you can reach us on uh, the internet by email at houseygospel at yahoo.com or email at Howard at gmail.com. We are located all over the internet. We are located on Reverb Nation. We are located in many places here on the Internet. You can find us on Facebook at uh, www.facebook.com slash Housey Internet Radios slash we are all over the Internet, and we hope that you will partake in uh, being a part of our ministry and um, being a part of what we do here at Housey Production Gospel. One of the things we do is that we play all styles of music, we play all styles of music, regardless of what style it is, gospel, bluegrass, praise, worship, traditional. Um, we have powerful conversation covering any of the subjects dealing with humanity, any of the subjects dealing with humanity. We will be talking about them. You can find us on our podcast. You can find us on iTunes. Our podcast is com. You can find us on Twitter at HowSee777, www.twitter.com, HowSee777. You can find us on uh, Facebook as well as uh, um, Google Plus as well. We're all over the Internet. HowSee Gospel Music and the Word of God, equity for all. It's easy to judge others. We will be with you for three hours, and we hope that you will partake of the subject matter and uh, people can can change the truth, but the truth can change people. 
People can't change the truth. They might try to deviate from it and change it in ways that is not good for us all. But guess what? God is the balancing factor when it comes to truth. God is the balancing factor. He knows what is true. And whatever you speak, whether it's truth or lie, you will be judged according to equity versus equality. Equity versus equality. What about it? Equity versus equality. We have some opening uh, information for you on equity versus equality. And one of the things you want you to remember is this. People can't change the truth, but the truth can change people. As we get ready to continue here on House of Industrial Blog Talk Radio, I hear the rain falling outside. What a beautiful sound. Rain on the roof here in Beatrice, Alabama. God is so powerful and God is so good. He gives us the water that we need whenever we need it, however we need it. An awesome thing for God to do. As we continue here on How Super Dot Gospel Blog Talk Radio, we're going to pause for just a minute and um, you stay with us as we continue here on How Super Dot Gospel Blog Talk Radio. Our subject for today How See Gospel Music and the Word of God. God, equity for all. It's easy to judge others. Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. Let's take a really quick look at the difference between equity and equality and understanding the difference. You need to know this in order to understand how to go about addressing and understanding this unit on equity and the distribution of income. Okay, so here we go. The equality in the distribution of income would mean equality in the distribution of income would mean that everyone earns the same amount of money regardless of what skills he or she provides to the labor market, right? And this, of course, was the objective of socialist economies using the communist system of economics, and this, was not the, this is not the objective of modern market economies. So equality in the distribution of income, economists, neoclassical economists are not saying that everybody should earn the same amount of money. I know I had a really powerful life experience uh, we traveled to Cuba, and I was in a cab in Cuba, and I was talking to the taxi driver, and he said, no, I'm a doctor. I said, what? What do you mean you're a doctor? He said, no, I'm a medical, I'm a doctor, I'm a physician. Last year, I went on a, on a trip to, um, to Mexico to train doctors in, in whatever his specialty was, and I said, well, why are you driving a cab? And he said, well, I make the same amount of money every month. I make $15 a month if I'm a doctor or if I'm a taxi driver, so I figure... Uh, I enjoy driving. I enjoy meeting people. And so I became a taxi driver. And it was so striking because here's this highly trained professional. And the system, of course, the system um, that he lived in was in Cuba. And the objective was equality in the distribution of income and that everybody would make the same amount of money regardless of their trade. And so he became a taxi driver because it was less stressful and he enjoyed it more. That's not what free markets do. That's not what you're going to be doing in this unit. What you're going to be doing is looking at equity in the distribution of income, which refers to the fairness in the distribution of income. Okay, So increased fairness can be achieved through macroeconomic policies that place higher tax rates on wealthy people than lower income earners. And increased fairness can also be achieved through fiscal policies that redistribute a nation's income through transfer payments and spending on public goods in a way that provides equal opportunity for the entire society. Equity in the distribution of income is not saying everybody earns more, but what it is saying is that if you do earn more, then you, um, by the fact that you earn more, you ought to pay higher taxes so that those who don't earn more ought to have equal opportunity in life. So think about equity in the distribution of income in this sense and enabling those who are lower income workers or lower income earners to have as many opportunities as possible. In other words, they won't be held back by their lower incomes as much as the government can possibly do that. And an example of that would be something like um, need-based scholarships for university educations. 
if somebody is, is, is a great student, has got great grades at a public school, but their parents cannot afford, their economic situation cannot afford, does not enable them to afford a college university, a university degree, those children should not be denied the opportunity. And so a government would say, hey, because your parents earn below this amount of money, you qualify for a scholarship to attend a university so that you can have an equal opportunity to expand your, 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 your learning, your education, but also become a more productive member of society because people who have higher educations tend to be more versatile in the workforce, and a more versatile workforce means that there's development on society as a whole. Okay, so equity in the distribution of income, understanding what it means. I love this. This is Jason Wilker's word, increased fairness. I really like that word. What's fair? Of course, you can get in a massive argument about that, but that's a great way of looking at it. And then we're going to use the Lorenz curve as a measurement tool of income equality. So one of the tricks you've got to go back and forth in is you've got to look at the distribution of income to see how unequal it is so that you can then figure out how to redistribute that income through taxation to provide equity in the society in which you are governing, okay? Let me say that again. We need to understand how unequal the distribution of income is in a country, which the Lorenz curve will help us do, so that we as policymakers or economists can then suggest how we should redistribute that income in the most equitable way. Beautiful. If you got that straight in your head right now, you're off and running with understanding this unit. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and we'll talk to you in a bit free lunch to every viewer of this program, and all you had to do was read a hundred lines of Beowulf in the original Anglo-Saxon for me. Sound fair? Everyone has the same opportunity, right? Or do they? Our guests today will help us consider some new perspectives on fairness and justice. Join us on Inner Compass. From the campus of Calvin College, this is Inner Compass, exploring how people use faith and ethics to guide them through critical issues of today. My guest today is Michelle Lloyd Page, Dean of Multicultural Affairs at Calvin College in Grand Rapids, Michigan. She is also a preacher and lecturer who has lately been thinking about the terms equality and equity, which form our topic for today. Welcome, Michelle. Oh, thank you. One little syllable's difference. Um, the American ideal seems to be that everyone has equal opportunity, equal access to the same options and the same potential for success. But, uh, but there are roadblocks sometimes to that equality, and that's where the difference between equity and equality come in, right? Yeah. Can you give me an example of, of how that difference plays out, what that means? I can give you a, a really good example of something that happened um, just earlier today. Um, I was at lunch, and at the lunch they were serving everyone, and it was sandwiches and soup, which is fine, except I'm a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And so when they said, well, here you can eat, well, there was nothing there for me to eat. Equality means that um, everybody had an opportunity to have lunch, everyone could make their own soup or sandwich, but every item had meat in it, and so there was nothing there for me. Equity okay. would have been um, if I could have something that didn't have meat in it. Okay. So uh, it has partly to do with the difference between measuring fairness in terms of opportunity versus maybe outcome? Yes, opportunity okay. and outcome. Um, you can have equal access, but you might not have equal outcome. And I think that's sometimes where we um, have this tension about what is it that we really want. Mm -hmm. um, we like to think of ourselves as wanting equality, that everybody has the same place, everyone gets the same kind of rewards, mm -hmm. and we don't like to think of ourselves as really liking the idea of inequality. But I think deep down we do, and in some ways we even appreciate the inequality. If you are going to go to school, for example, my sister is a medical doctor, mm -hmm. and as she was going through school, taking all the exams all the, um, and all the classes and all the investment into that education, one of the things that she said as she neared the end of her residency is, I don't want anyone saying anything about how much money I'm making. I have earned this. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and she says, don't I deserve more, uh, more income? Or more prestige than someone because you've worked harder because to get they to where worked you are. harder mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. someone else dropped out of school and they were flipping burgers mm -hmm. um, someplace don't I deserve more and it's like well you have a good point mm -hmm. and so in some ways in our society we we do value inequality and we affirm um, inequality but we um, 
value that, we can appreciate that when we think someone deserves it. Now, when we get to a situation where we think someone doesn't deserve it, we don't know quite what to do. Uh, we don't know what to do um, in terms of how do we think about ourselves being unequal.